Yeah, I'm the quiet one, so my story won't be as long. <laughs> but um, I guess aging me the way Natalie did, my son was in preschool when I started with ProTax. But before that, I'll tell you, I was a math teacher. I have a master's degree in education. I taught junior high math for six years. Um, and I decided junior high kids were not the kind of people that I wanted to work with on a full-time basis. But um, then I had kids, and when my son went to preschool is when I was looking for just that part-time job a couple hours a week, and uh, I found a pro-tax office in Martinsburg, West Virginia. And um, I started just working like the 9 to 3 while he was at school. And um, by the end, I think it was before the end of peak, the manager had been fired. And um, a lot of people left. And after February, I got this speech at the end of peak that, you know, we'll call you if we need you. Well, that next Monday, Lynn called me and said, OK, we fired the manager. This person quit. We need you. Can you come in? And by the end of that tax season, I always say I got the job by default because everybody else left. I was like the last one standing. <laughs> so I managed an office for four years, and then ProTax moved me to Charlottesville. And I was director of support, one of those people that was in the team of what Natalie did before she left. And a director of support for one year, and then they created a new position. I was director of education and training. So I actually wrote all the training materials that ProTax used for their 24 offices around three states. And I really enjoyed that part of the job. And when Lynn started her own company and wanted somebody to do the training manuals and stuff, I said, yep, count me in. So I've been working with Lynn for, what, three years now? Yeah. And she's a great boss. She's um, not at all detailed. So, you know, she needs help <laughs> in that area. But uh, I try to fill that role for her.